Then you got to the foul line a lot tonight. Uh, I guess what you do to get there is consistently as you did. Uh, just being aggressive. I knew big screen guard. Uh, so you know, being being consistent and starting from you know the first half to second half. You guys both put up big offensive numbers. <coughs> what about the defense of the first half, especially click so well? And how much of a tone did that set? Uh, I think just communication. Everyone uh, talking about defense, and then and being an aggressive uh, team from you know from the jump, and you know playing with you know a chip on our shoulder. Ben, uh, maybe he touched on playing with a chip on our shoulder. We came out with a different type of energy, and we we really prepared for this game better than I think the other ones. It just uh, took in the scouting report um, incredibly well, and it showed out in the first half. Keith, what did you see on the scouting report that made them vulnerable? Well, uh, I mean, it's, they have a, it's a great, great team. You know, they have shooters everywhere, and they, you know, big guys down low. So we, we knew that we couldn't get caught up in all the movement they had in the offense. We had to really communicate and, and uh, switch a lot, and that really tests uh, a unit defensively. And I think we did a better job of that as the game went on. And what if, uh, <coughs> you stand the job. Great right, on uh, Damian Jones. Yeah, he, he did a great job. He was aggressive. Um, I think I asked Scout. I helped a lot. Just I was paying attention from from the jump and uh, and everyone chipping in and making sure we were on our defensive assignments. Then you're pretty confident before the game and, and even tonight that they couldn't stop you. Was it something you saw on film that you thought was they were vulnerable at or? Uh, that's my mentality. That's my, no matter who it is. Hey, Coach, I noticed that pretty much your offense, Ben, you want Ben to have the ball in the hand, getting you an offense, taking it out. Is that your mentality as far as Ben, the type of player he is, running through your team? Ben, yeah, I'm talking to you, Coach. Yes. Say it again, I'm sorry. Yeah, as far as the mentality, every time that you wanted the ball in Ben's hand is obviously your most talented player. You talking about late? Yeah. Well, I thought he did a great job of uh, spreading the floor. I thought the matchups were good for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, anytime we set screens, we were able to attack. And they were in the switching at the time. And uh, he's excellent at, of uh, being poised and getting the ball to the right guys. Not so much him scoring, uh, but making uh, the right decisions uh, with it out there on the floor. So they'd go with a small lineup. And so we wanted to just take advantage and, and be patient down the stretch. And I thought he did a good job of doing that. Johnny, he didn't get his first points till seven something in. Was there a directive just be aggressive and try to score? Or Who's that? Ben. Seven, seven. I think it was it was seven minutes into the game before he scored. We just uh, a lot of times allow our guys just to be on the floor of the game, and uh, Ben's been very fortunate. Uh, he's surrounded uh, by some guys uh, that uh, that can really shoot and can score, and the good thing is he trusts them. And as the game plays out. Uh, like it did tonight, uh, he's able to uh, take advantage of the opportunities presented to him, and uh, thought his teammates did a good job of scoring early, uh, making plays, and uh, I didn't think he had to try to force anything. Uh, and when the floor opened up and the opportunity presented itself, I thought he took advantage of it. Ben, you've had a lot of firsts this year, obviously. First SEC game was it? Do, do, do you feel a little bit of a push <coughs> to to prove yourself, to prove that what the hype around you is, is for real? Uh. I'm just going to play my game. I'm not really worried about what I'm sitting behind or what I could be. Um, I know what I can be and who I can be as a player, so uh, I'm going to do that. Johnny, what, what did you like about the first half defense in particular? I thought our guys did a tremendous job of communicating. This is one of the uh, uh, higher efficient uh, seed basketball teams in the country. Uh, they're excellent in terms of uh, the ability to score, uh, be it the three, and uh, Jones is obviously a uh, tough matchup inside. But I thought you guys did a good job of staying connected. We switched at times, stayed down, we took away driving lanes, we were the only catch for the shooters. And I thought we did a good job of uh, trying to force Jones to at least think about what he was doing because we came down and trapped him early. Uh, so I thought it kind of took them out a little bit of their flow, but at the same time they scored. But it was excited to hold them to 30 some percent shooting there in the first half, and that was huge for us. Johnny, are you surprised anymore about when Ben has a big – I know he's had big games in North Florida and so on, but this SEC opener that played that well in his first one? Uh, especially in uh, this environment, not so much uh, surprised, but I uh, know that's what he's capable of doing. But to do that your first night out in this type of environment here uh, says a lot about him, uh, but certainly not surprised about 
Uh, he's played, I'm not a lot surprised me about him. You know, been around him not long enough to have. Yeah, they, they took a one point lead, I think 51 50, and then you came back and kind of um, had a little surge at it. What, what was the turning point on, in that little sequence? I thought uh, two things. One, I thought on the defensive end, our guys continued to grind. They made their run, and, and, and good teams going to do that. We expected Bandy to. Uh, but I thought our guys did a great job of responding well uh, to it. It uh, did not panic, stayed poised under the pressure, uh, made extra passes, executed on the offensive end of the floor, and that's what was needed. And I thought, again, uh, that was a huge force uh, because obviously their fans got into it and made their run and were able to uh, sustain that. Then how much did it change it when Keith hit a couple of threes in the second half? That's uh, that's big. Every time he's in the court, I'm looking for him. Uh, I'm trying to bring him high, actually, so he's more available for me. But, um, you know, they kind of slack off him just because he's a great shooter and, you know, opens up a lot of space for me and other players. Ben, did you just have a cramp towards that end? Yes. The game? You, had, you had troubles early in the game? Or that was no, that was the first. <laughs> Keith, uh, you know, you all have a team meeting this week. Did you kind of see the stuff y'all talked about in the meeting translate to the floor just with, I guess, Coach Schoen said communication and stuff like that? I mean, it wasn't just stuff that's maybe discussed in the meeting. We, we talk about this stuff among, you know, teammates and when we were in the locker room. And, uh, yeah, we just approached this game differently, had a better edge about ourselves when we touched the floor. And we needed that and just happy that we did it. And we need to sustain that coming into the next 17 games of the conference. You had, you had five points at halftime. Did you feel – you had to be more assertive in the second half. You know, if uh, I didn't want to, you know, force anything. You know, we had a, a good thing going, and uh, just I want to take advantage of opportunities when it come to me, and I, I did that, especially in the second half. And um, you know, so just take it as it comes, but certainly more aggressive than uh, I guess timid. <laughs> hey, Johnny, how cool is it to look at that stat sheet and see the rebound numbers, especially? The I thought it was good for us. One of our focus tonight was obviously uh, trying to win the war on the boards. Uh, we were able to do that, and I thought that gave us a great opportunity. We got some second chance opportunities uh, that being, and then uh, going 40 to 24 in the paint was huge for us. But uh, to get uh, 11 offensive rebounds, really good for us, especially shooting 46% uh, from the field and being able to collect that. But uh, I thought as a group, uh, we did a much better job on the glass against a uh, good rebounding team. I can finally ask this question a different way. You won a close game, you won one on the road. How does that help you guys moving forward? Well, the good thing is uh, Keith, obviously as aggressive as he is, on the offense, been to the floor, being poised and making plays, uh, that helps us. And uh, again, in a very difficult, tough environment like tonight, the team making the run. The game is closely contested for him to execute at that level. Then having a teammate that put him in a situation to allow him to get shots where he gets separation that he trusts to make plays, that's what it's all about. And then to be able to do that as a, a team and guys trusting each other, put the ball in the right spots and, and not panicking and, and taking early shots, I thought there was a difference in the game. What about your two players within the close game on this uh, it means a lot for us just because we've been in that situation a couple of times where we, you know, it's, it's just lost focus and then they, they pulled the game out. But um, I think we're kind of getting the hang of it and we know what to do in those situations. It means a lot to us, like we've said, and just got to keep on doing it if uh, we have to face some uh, close injuries. Hey, Coach, what was the biggest halftime adjustment? I noticed you went from 34 points to 56 points this second half. What was the biggest <coughs> adjustment that you discussed with the guys in that. It wasn't so much for just, we just came out and executed at a, a different level. We didn't settle uh, in terms of taking early shots. We uh, allowed ourselves to grind, get in the area where we needed to. We still got some fast break opportunities uh, out there as well, and we defended well. But I thought it was more of the same of what we did in the first half, but executed better. Oh. I mean, he had five and a half, and obviously his second half, and, and he went, went to work there the second half as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.